I want to take a 1.7 meter fishing rod. 1.7 meters. Uh, that's about. Uh, I'm thinking about how tall. It's about here. So it's the ground. I'm, I think I'm 178, roughly. Okay. So it's there. Uh, I want to take it on board a bus, but the driver says that the longest thing I can fit on there, the longest length, is a meter. Okay. So what can I do? Now I've heard some suggestions. I think I heard a suggestion fold. I heard a suggestion cut in half or get earn more money so you can buy like one of those telescopic ones that I can just go and then it would be really short. You may be wondering what on earth does this have to do with Pythagoras theorem? And the answer is everything. So underneath your diagrams there, your two diagrams, I would like you to draw for me a cube. A cube. Here is my cube, complete with um, cool invisible edges that you can't see, but I've put them in dotted because we're going to need to look at them, okay? Now remember, this bus company is rather draconian and it only allows one meter objects into the bus, right? So, so, I'm going to take on this box, which is one meter by one meter by one meter. It's a perfect cube, okay? You see where this is going? Okay, so I'm gonna put some measurements on here. I'm not gonna put one meter on every single edge because then I'd have numbers and letters flying everywhere. I'm just gonna put in what I need. Okay, so draw with me, or write with me rather, one meter and one meter on these two bottom edges there. Oh, good, good, excellent. Well, you can see here that even though all of the edges are one meter, if I put objects inside this, they don't all have to be straight. They could be like, you know, at different angles. So you could fit things in of different sizes. The question is, how big? Okay, so for instance, if I put an object and I lay it down on the bottom, the bottom of the cube, the bottom of the box, okay? So I lay it down like this, stretching from diagonal, uh, from corner to corner across the diagonal, okay? So clearly, that's the biggest object I can fit on the bottom. So it's, it's laying flat. Yeah. Okay, now hold on a second. How long... Is this green object? I can work this out with Pythagoras, can't I? One squared though is one. Let's let's have a good a go. You got a um, even though it doesn't look like it, there's a right angle there, right? Because it's a cube. Right angles everywhere. Okay. So I can write out Pythagoras' theorem to work out this length. Let's call it um. I'm very original, so I'm going to call it x. Okay. X meters is the length. Well, what equation should I write with Pythagoras? I should write the sum of the two shorter sides, sorry, the sum of the squares of the two shorter sides, that's equal to the square of the longer side. Yes? Tracking so far? Yeah. So one squared plus one squared. What's one squared? One. It's one. So I have a big complicated number to work out over there. Oh my god, it's two. Okay, so it's two, so that's good. So that means the actual length is not two though. That's the square of the length. So what's the actual length? 1.41. Yeah, it's going to be um very good. So I can write that exactly as a square root of 2, which is 1.4 approximately. Okay. So that's great. I know what this length is, right? Unfortunately, 1.4 meters is not quite long enough to fit my fishing rod, is it? So you go from the bottom So okay, yeah, so Nathan, where should I draw this line? Okay, so here's where I'm going to draw it. If you have another colour, this would be really helpful because you've got a lot of lines flying around here. I'm going to draw this. Okay, can you see that? Bottom corner, above this green diagonal, but it stretches all the way up to the top of the box. Okay, that's where I'm putting stuff in. Okay. Now again, I have another right angle triangle. It doesn't quite look like it because we're we're looking at it from an angle, but the right angle is right there. Can you see it? There's the right angle. Okay. And I know what the sides of this triangle are. I worked out the bottom side, the base if you like, it's the square root of 2. What's the vertical side equal to? It's 1 because it's a cube. Very good. Okay, so now I'm going to work out the red line. How do I do it? What equation should I write? Nathan. Exactly the same as last time. One squared plus one point four squared. Okay, now I could use the decimal, couldn't I? Yeah. But we're better than that. We know what it's equal to exactly, and that's what I'm going to write. 
Now let me get this uh, other way. You see what's happening? Okay, now. I need to write something over here. I need to give this red line a name. I'm going to be even more original. And call it Y. Okay. So I'm going to call that. That's the hypotenuse. So that's Y squared. Okay. One squared. You guys already told me that before. And I have a very good memory. So that's one. Right. Now, what's this thing? What's this thing? Two. It's the square root of two times the square root of two. Which, square root just means if you square it, you'll get two. Right? Square root of two times square root of two. And you can check it on your calculator. Okay. So that's y squared. So now I've got y squared being equal to three. That means y, that long red line over there, is a square root of three, which, if my memory serves me right, is about 1.73. Uh, and bam, there goes my fishing rod with a whole three centimeters to spare. Okay. 